Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. This one is, the you talk about the uh, question of the week, <laughs> we try to uh, you know, answer those the best we can. Right now it is, oh my gosh, I got Orioles again, what's happening? Um, yes, they, if you, nothing will equal the, the Oriole spectacle we had in the spring. It's uh, when the birds were first arriving, we, we, had, we had that north wind, they got locked in, they were just tearing the feeders up, really eating a lot. It, it was wonderful. Now, some of you have had Oriole activity since then on a regular basis. And a lot of that's just habitat, where you live, and um, if the Orioles are nesting really, really close to you, the adults have, it may, it's easier for them to come down and get that jelly. But you've heard, if, if you've listened to any of the other videos about Orioles, you know that once they start nesting, and that's what they've been doing for the last month to five weeks or so, um, they've been in that nesting cycle, and th during that time, they're eating insects, they're feeding their babies insects, and they're not coming to the jelly very much. Well, this past week, we started getting sightings of babies at the feeder. Um, you know they're babies because they're begging mom or dad for uh, food, and they, they usually take a, uh, a mouthful of jelly and stick it in there for them. Um, they will carry some jelly back to the nest, but it's, like I said, it, they, the source of calcium for uh, those growing bones and those baby birds are insects. Uh, insects, exoskeletons especially, have a lot of, they're made of keratin, which is calcium. So they've been feeding that mainly. But now the trick is that they're teaching those, those babies all the free food sources and the good food, food sources and your feeders you know, fall into that. And you know, the jelly is, is very popular and they'll take them to that and show them that. Um, this is going to last, it's hard to know but at least for a couple of weeks. But one of the things that happens is, and, and I've told you this before, that Orioles are one of our earliest fall migrators. Um, and the, the name of the program is Midsummer Orioles. It's kind of uh, an oxymoron, I guess, because it's still just early summer. But for, for them, it's midsummer because those male Orioles are gonna start to leave by the second week of July. And those adult males will bug out and they take a gradual Migration south usually end up in uh, central Mexico to southern Mexico. The Yucatan Peninsula is a great place to see them in the winter months. Um, and they take advantage of those uh, shade grown coffee plantations. So, you want to help Orioles drink shade grown coffee and a lot of other of our migrant birds too. So, um, but the females will linger a little longer. So, those, those females will be here uh, into uh, you maybe early August and then they tend to they move out. But those young birds, those ones that just hatched this year, they don't know the routine. They don't know that they're supposed to migrate, but their bodies are pulling them. They know, they're, they're, they're like, I oh, know, but this is home, but no, no, wait a minute, something, you know, I gotta go south, and, and, and their bodies are telling them. And day length, the change in day length, we feel is what triggers that in birds' instincts. So eventually those young will leave as well. Well. There's usually a break. It'll be a period here in August, especially mid to late August, early September, where you may not see any Orioles whatsoever. Now, if you're diligent and you leave your 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 jelly out, and your house finches are eating it, and if you're, you know maybe a summer tanager might be eating on it, catbirds might be eating on it, things like that a little bit, and then all of a sudden we'll start the phone will start ringing off the hook in September. I've got Orioles. I've got Orioles. My Orioles are back. Those are not typically your Orioles. Those are the northern birds. Remember those northern nesters like northern Minnesota, southern Canada, northern Wisconsin, all those northern tier states, their nesting cycle starts much later than ours because it's so much cooler up there later that in, until the, the insects are readily available, they start their nesting quite a bit later. So those are the migrants that we'll see passing through here in September. So um, you can watch for those, but it's, it's all up to you because we get the question, how long should I leave my jelly out? I almost said pull mine in, or, or I've had people say, I pulled my jelly in already, but now I gotta put it back out because the babies are, they, yes, if you wanna put it back out now, um, they, luckily, if you've had Orioles nesting somewhat close to you, you'll get some activity right now at this period of summer. So Orioles are always a, a big topic of conversation. Uh, hummingbirds, going to be talking about them again uh, coming up here because their babies are going to be fledging soon. So uh, great idea for a program. Send in more of them, if you will. Uh, give us a like. Give us a share. A good review on Google or Facebook always helps us out. So thank you very much. Come by and let's talk birds.